Hi, I'm Mr. Warner. And I'm Mrs. Robertson. And today we are going to be making gingerbread houses. Gingerbread houses. I've never made a gingerbread house. So earlier this month, uh, several of our Coop students met with us and they gave us very detailed directions on how to make a gingerbread house. Mm -hmm. I think they did a really good job. Like I said, I haven't made one before, so I'm really excited to do this. Um, but uh, from what I can tell, I think they're pretty good directions. Well, if they're anything like how to carve a pumpkin, we are gonna have some fantastic <laughs> gingerbread houses. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start with first. So um, the, the kids were really on it on the, the first step. They told us um, that I could buy the kit. Mm -hmm. So we have our kits here. Um, it says uh, I could get candy to decorate later. So here is our candy that we're gonna be using later. Look at all that candy. And then it says, if I use a box kit, I will get out all of the stuff. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get out all the stuff. Here we go. Okay, so we have bought our kit, we have bought the candy that goes on top of it, and we have laid all of our stuff out, but we're not quite done with the first step yet. I know, we have lots of parts here, and we need to use some of our icing to put those parts together. Yep, and then that's our first, or that's our last step that was said with the first category. So we are going to put on the sides and the roof. Here we go. Here we go. It's falling apart, man. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh huh. You know what? I'm not gonna put my roof on yet. I think I do it first. Yeah, honestly. I might wait a second. What letting it harden is probably the best idea. Yeah. Okay. So. And there we have it. We've completed our first steps. We have uh, assembled the sides. We have the roof on our gingerbread houses. Mm -hmm. um, so our next step is our then. So we have first, then, and 
So what is your then steps? My then has a lot of decorating tips. One uh, is putting lights on, uh, which I think I might use like maybe these little, little candies for lights. Um, put, and put candy around it and frosting on it. So yeah, oh, that's, nice. that's all my thens. I have some thens as well that involve decorating. Um, they told me that I also need to make a yard I okay. need to uh, decorate the sides with candy and add doors and windows. Since the kit kind of already has the outline of those, I'll probably use those for the doors and windows. I will as well. All right, so here's our then steps. Let's go ahead and get started. So our gingerbread houses are turning out really great so far. They've been a lot of work. They really have. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we're about halfway through. We've done our first steps. Then we are on next. Now, mine tend to focus on the roof and outside. My kids told me that I should make an outside Christmas tree. <laughs> So add a chimney onto the roof. So that's a symbol. And I should use candy to make ornaments which are on my Christmas tree, and I should decorate the roof. So mine's focus is going to be on the top. Okay. And uh, mine says that I should turn it into a castle. And yeah. do you know what every castle needs, Mr. Warner? Well, that's not very Christmassy. but I've kind of already done those, putting things in the windows and putting a little snow on top. I'm sorry I did that before we were to the next step. Hey, not a problem. We're on the next step now. All so right. let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, so last, we have a number of things to do last. Um, one of mine is I'm supposed to draw a gingerbread man on the side of the house. So I have a nice space on the back of the house here that I'll, I'll do that on. Um, I need to add a Santa Claus somewhere, and um, I will be taking a picture. We're oh, taking fun. a video, but we'll also take a picture to share. And uh, then it says I can eat it or save it. So I'll think about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which I will do. Okay. So how? What are you doing last? Okay. So my last steps. I need to uh, see if I can get Santa on the roof. So that chimney area is looking pretty good. I am going to add small detail, like a door handle. Okay. Um, I need to add some uh, Christmas lights. You're adding Christmas lights? Oh. I'm adding Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> then my kiddos told me I could save it or eat it. And as much time as I spent on this, I'm probably going to save it. I think, I think I'm leaning towards saving it as well. All right, we are almost done. Let's go ahead and complete the last steps. Okay, here we go. And there we have it. Uh, by following the directions provided to us by our second grade Coop students, we made two fantastic gingerbread houses. I think they turned out pretty nicely. They were a lot of work. <laughs> they were a lot of work, yeah, but oh but man. Well worth it. Well worth it. What a fantastic way to celebrate this holiday season. So alongside this video um, we are going to be posting some update pictures of our gingerbread houses on the VLA forum because we have our Christmas dragon here and I know that dragons sometimes get a little bit hungry they do get a little bit hungry so we'll have to see what happens on the VLA forum so for right now, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for uh, providing the directions, watching us construct our gingerbread houses. Um, happy holidays and goodbye. Thank you. Happy holidays. <laughs>